All right, I'm gonna do another video here on Venus. I did this this morning, November 21st. I took a shot with the Outra. All right, shows my location, time 5:25 this morning. I use this app called uh, Skyview Free. I didn't get it lined up when I, when I took the picture, but you can point it at anything in the sky and I'll tell you what it is. It's a really neat app. And it's free. It's called Skyview Free. And that is Venus. And this is with the P1000. Um, that is in focus and kind of properly exposed. Uh, it's kind of very humid this morning. It's cold here, but humid. You know, it's like take the camera out of the warm house. As soon as I walk inside, as soon as I walk outside, it's fogging up the lens almost immediately. But <clears throat> that's what some of that haze is around it. Some of it, but. I probably don't have it exposed perfectly, but P1000, I was skeptical of it at first because it has a very small sensor, but they did get this right with the, this is in movie manual mode. You can actually adjust the shutter speed while you're filming and you can get the exposure right. You know, with the P900 in full auto mode, you cannot adjust the exposure, and it's always overexposed. Even if you get it in focus, I'll show you here in a minute, um, it'll be way overexposed. Okay, so this is this is decent. It could probably do better, but this is not bad. You know, they've made a lot of improvements on the P1000. The P900 is not ideal for astrophotography. It's very hard to get it right with the P900, but it's night and day. The P1000, it's way easier. Okay, there's where I'm zooming in on Venus, I think. Okay, this is when I had it on auto mode and see how overexposed it is here you know, this is what even in that's fairly in focus I think I had it in manual focus still here but I put it in auto mode so the exposure wasn't right <clears throat> and get that oh, way overexposed uh, view of it Okay, and I'm so it's still, you know, the exposure's not right, but Okay, this is full auto mode. I put it back in autofocus, and there you go. That's what happens. <clears throat> the P1000 does do a little bit better job at autofocus than the P900. But I'm it was just zooming out in. This is full. Um, completely manual mode and this is the only thing the P900 will film in that's why so many people are getting this wrong uh, just it cannot auto focus on this stuff but there you go with your circles I said this is the multiple you know 
these circles you see are the multiple lenses inside the camera the light is being scattered too widely and it's giving the outline of the lenses oh yeah that and it's like what we call it an octagon shape this is the aperture um, look up a picture of an aperture and that is what you will see it's like the pupil you know in your eye but they can't make it perfectly round it's made out of pieces that kind of make it round but that's the outline of the aperture when it's out of focus there's your water effects and this is all from the camera being out of focus see a little water you know so many people get this wrong and you know I did too at first you know I admit I got I got caught up in this but so the P900 is not the ideal tool for astrophotography as you can see all right now I went back into um, you know, movie manual mode manual focus uh, you get it focused and that's that's the difference you know, night and day same thing with the stars Mars you know all this other stuff people are getting horribly wrong but um, But like I say, you know, a lot of people are making these mistakes. It's, it's okay. This is just a light in the sky. It looks, goes through phases just like the moon. You know, it looks, I think it's just a tiny moon. I think it's very close. It might be a little bit further away than the moon. I think the moon, you know, just my personal opinion, the moon and the sun are maybe within... 10, 20 miles up at a given time. I think the other planets and stars may be closer to um, closer to 50 or 60 miles up. Yeah. But anyway, that's all I got for this one. Y'all let me know what you think. Appreciate it.